All right, hey, what's up, everybody? Mike Lindsley back with you for an ML Sports Take. It's all brought to you by great friends at Empower Federal Credit Union, Welch & Company Jewelers, and Hides of Liverpool. Make sure if you're in and around central New York, get to Hides of Liverpool. You'll never have a better Hoffman hot dog off the grill. Pair it with your favorite side, potato salad, mac salad, mac and cheese, etc. We'll kind of love those unbelievable pickles as well. Hidesofliverpool.com. Go get the mobile unit for your summer event in 2021. Gift cards available for the holidays. If you're coming in from out of town, get to Hides. They've been serving Central New York and the greater New York State with family and friends who moved out of the area and elsewhere around the country who come in for the holidays for decades. Go get their chocolate milk for the kids and, of course, all of your favorite desserts like your cookies to go as well. Hidesofliverpool.com. Get your apparel. Get your brown mustard to go. Hides of Liverpool is a proud title sponsor of the ML Sports Platter. I want to give you my top five teams in the NFL right now at the halfway point I'm going to start one and go right on down to five and my, my my number one team is the Kansas City Chiefs and look while I know they haven't looked a plus 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 they haven't looked like the Super Bowl champions this year frankly when they won the Super Bowl last year they didn't look that great until the three comebacks right Texans Titans and of course the 49ers in the Super Bowl Patty Mahomes leading them back but they're still the champs. They still have Andy Reid, the head coach. They have an offense that you just cannot keep down, led by Patrick Mahomes and Hill. Uh, the running back's going all over the place with Edwards Hilaire. They've got a little thunder and lightning system. You can throw it over the middle and extend the chains to Travis Kelsey. He's also one of the best red zone players in the entire National Football League. Then the defense. The defense has come on quite nicely here the last several weeks, um, and I really think that they caught fire at the end of last year. Look at that game against Denver this year where Patrick Mahomes sat out a good deal uh, towards the end of that game, uh, you know, back end of that game, and the defense just takeaway after takeaway. Uh, we know the Honey Badger and Matthew and company, are they're just playing really, really great right now, and they're uh, getting pressure as well. So they're becoming m more and more of a complete team as we move on. And again, they're the champs and they have the best player in the NFL in Pat Mahomes. Number two, Pittsburgh Steelers. Absolutely phenomenal right now. Undefeated 7-0 and back-to-back -back physical games. They out physical as you hear, both the Titans and the Baltimore Ravens. It's absolutely incredible how physical the game was against the Titans. And then the week after, they played exactly the same way and punched their rivals, Baltimore, in the mouth and won the football game. And they've got Big Ben back playing at an elite level. You've got Claypool. you got Deontay Thompson, although last week he didn't play that great. He killed my fantasy team. And then you have Juju Smith-Schuster, who's still kind of just out there as an option. James Conner running the football, tough as nails, chip on the shoulder. That guy's fought more adversity than a lot of guys in the league. <clears throat> you look at the offensive line, I think, improving week in, week out. And the defense is just absolutely bludgeoning people. And, of course, they have overcome injuries as well, including Devin. Bush. So I'm going to take the Pittsburgh Steelers in there at number two. Mike Tomlin, by the way, remember when Steeler fans and some national media pundits wanted this guy fired? You should be giving a lifetime contract to Mike Tomlin. There's a reason the Pittsburgh Steelers are a trademark franchise in the NFL. They stay calm, they stay cool, they stay consistent, and they've had head coach Chuck Noll for years. Bill Cowher for years. Now Mike Tomlin for years. And all they do is win Super Bowls, they win division championships, they win AFC titles, they get to the playoffs year in, year out, and they got a couple of major Hall of Famers on that team as well in Big Ben and Mike Tomlin. So give me the Pittsburgh Steelers at number two. My third best team in football, and I was thinking about two and three, was flip-flopping them back and forth, the Seattle Seahawks. They come into Buffalo this week in a huge game for the Bills, but the Seahawks, talking more about them, Russell Wilson right now, probably the lead dog for the MVP, has not won one, and that will obviously garner more chatter as we go on, and it will help his cause, I think. you got DK Metcalf on one side and Lockett on the other and this offense is just scoring, period, end of discussion. Arizona, really the only team that was able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with them and beat them on Sunday night football. Uh, the defense, you know, it, it, it really depends on, on what part of the game you watch. They do give up the big play, and that's probably an area where Buffalo needs to attack them this week. It depends on if Seattle will play the zone or not, or, or, or uh, man. Uh, against Buffalo, and it's really dependent on zone versus man against all the other opponents this year as well. You saw Kyler Murray kind of dive uh, you know, into that defense and really slice and dice them no matter what Seattle brought to the table. This is not the Legion of Boom anymore. That seems like a century ago. It's the Russell Wilson offense. Go, go, go. We're going to try to score in the high 30s to beat you every single time. But, man, are they playing incredible on offense right now. And the defense, again, just like Kansas City in spots, doing just enough to win the football game. Seattle... Number three on my list, Pete Carroll, of course, is a Super Bowl champ and probably on his way to the Hall of Fame as well. My fourth best team in the NFL, I'm going to go with the Green Bay Packers. I know they looked really bad this past weekend, 
but I never count Aaron Rodgers out. And, you know, look, it's not just Devontae Adams where he's throwing the football to. He's got um, uh, he's got Scantling involved. He's got uh, St. Brown going uh, really, really nicely right now. And frankly, uh, when Jones comes back uh, as the running back uh, and they get a little bit more depth there, uh, and I know A.J. Dillon was a pr- pretty perfect pick. I know that they... Packers got crucified, obviously, for you know trading up and getting Jordan Love, the quarterback, in the first round, slapping the face to Rodgers. And then they got crucified in the second round for drafting a running back. But to me, they probably saw the writing on the wall, and you need depth at the running back position. Everybody knows that. I actually liked that pick. I didn't like the Jordan Love pick. But right now, Green Bay is scoring, and the Mike Pettin defense, the only thing that worries me there is they sometimes overdo it on the blitz. they got to stay in their places Stay in, you know, in the linebackers not overcompensating. The defensive line has got to get more pressure on the quarterback. But right now, I think Green Bay is a top five team in the NFL. I think they'll win the AFC, uh, the NFC North. Um, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Saints at number five. I really like the way they've played without Michael Thomas. I like the way they've played and adjusted to Drew Brees not being the guy from five to 10 years ago, you know, the Super Bowl champion breeze, the guy from three to five years ago where you could just zing at 20 to 30 yards every play. This guy has to dink and dunk a little bit more now. He's got to kind of use the tight end in spots and cook. And, and, and you know, they're getting, obviously, Kamara in some different areas where I like that. They're lining him up, uh, you know, wide a little bit. They're putting him maybe in the slot. They're getting some different trickery going. Maybe set up the run game and roll Breeze out a little bit and use some quick slants as well to kind of complement the run game. And Kamara, to me, with Christian McCaffrey out this year for a good chunk of time. I think he's the best all-purpose back right now in the NFL. I think when McCaffrey comes back, I think you can argue it. But uh, the Saints team is rolling. They've redefined their offense. And how many times do we talk about Drew Brees and the offense and Sean Payton and all the weapons and Kamara and Tom? How about the defense? How about the defense? How about the pressure physical corners? And how about the turnovers that they're creating? And how about the third down efficiency? They've gotten a lot better the last three to five weeks. So there's my top five teams in the NFL with just on the outside teams like Baltimore, teams like Arizona. Uh, You go down the list a little bit. I think eight, nine, 10, 11 ish, you'll get to the Bills and some of those clubs. So it's been fun halfway through the NFL, my top five teams Chiefs, Steelers, Seahawks, Packers, Saints. ML Sports Take brought to you by Rosie's Corner, the Vince Aguera Consulting Group, Barks and Rec Doggy Daycare. CNY Electrical and Stanley Law Offices. Go find Stanley Law all over social media. It's simple. Just call Joe. I'm Mike Lindsley. As I always tell you, enjoy the games.